Hi guys and thank you for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a haul. Now I've done a couple of hauls in the past and I do really enjoy doing them. It's just I have so much stuff for my hamsters now that I kind of don't buy that much stuff anymore, especially not enough stuff at once to put together a whole video. But today I've got an order from Pets at Home and an order from Zoo Plus to show you. First let's start off with the stuff from Pets at Home. So the first thing I got was <laughs> super heavy this bag of desert sand now i would normally use children's play sand for my hamsters because it's kind of the cheapest thing you do have to sanitize it in the oven though so that is kind of a down point but i would normally use children's play sand but with being on lockdown i haven't been able to go and get any so it was kind of a emergency purchase because i had completely run out of sand so i bought a couple of bags of this one i only have the one with me here because i have gone ahead and used the other one because i was in such dire need for sand um i've already used that whole bag but i have the one left for this video it didn't last a super long time it only did two sand baths <laughs> to be honest so um it kind of works out a little bit more expensive but the sand itself i'm really impressed with it's nice i didn't have to put it in the oven which is a bonus um, so yeah, I don't know whether it might actually be worth the increased price. I might get some more of this in the future. When I bought those two bags, they were on buy one, get one half price. And I am going to find the prices for everything. So the desert sand, the five kilogram bag was £6.19. But then I got the second bag on half price. The next thing I got is massively heavy, but it is quite big. So it's this bag of Carefresh. This is the biggest bag they do at pets at home you can get it in quite small bags but with the amount i get for i don't really see the point in buying them in those super small bags but i bought a couple of small bags actually um just before the lockdown started as kind of emergency bedding in case i needed it and i ended up using it and i really liked it and i hadn't used carefresh in quite a while because it is a bit more expensive um than other beddings that i do use but i thought it'd be nice to start adding it back in again and i quite like the color of this one as well so i bought a big bag of this and that bag was 19.99 and that was for the 50 litre bag of Carefresh. So I have a couple of things left from Pets at Home and the next one I'm going to show you is kind of a mistake that I made. So I ordered these. Now these are absolutely massive <laughs> and they are not what I was expecting at all. It's completely my fault when I looked at the items um, online. I must have kind of misunderstood but I was expecting a three pack of chews that were a lot smaller. One of the things I really needed were chews and for some reason Pets at Home hardly had any and I was really struggling. I even looked on Zoo Plus and I couldn't find any either. So I had to kind of resort to these and I do like using loofah but like I say I was expecting them to be a lot smaller. You couldn't really tell from the website and I didn't go ahead and look at like the measurements or anything. So I ended up ordering two of what I thought were three packs of chews and instead these two massive chews came. I'll pop them in and see if they get any use. And just checking the price of those chews, they were £2.50 each. And the last thing I got from Pets at Home is something I have constantly repurchased um, ever since I've had hamsters, and it's these chews here. Um, so these are some wooden vegetable chews. I just go ahead and buy the two packs. One, because I was super close to the free um, postage, so I just put one in to get me to the free postage because I know I'll get through these. Um, I use them all the time. I must have bought several packets by now. So I think these are just a good packet of good basic chews. And these were £3, I believe. They're coming up at £4, but they were £3 when I bought them, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, so that was all the stuff from Pets at Home. Now I'm going to move on to the Zoo Plus order. I'm going to start off with this. So this is an absolutely massive bag of millet. Now, I do get through quite a lot of millet, so I normally buy it in big bags like this however i normally buy it from a local pet store that again i was struggling to get to um because of coronavirus so i ended up having to look for it online and that bag there was 5.99 now I have no idea what this compares to the price I normally pay because quite honestly I can't remember. But the minute in here does look pretty good so I'm sure this will go down really well with the hamsters. Next up I'm going to show you something that again was a little bit of a fail from ordering online and it being a little bigger than I expected. And <laughs> that was this thing here. Now this is absolutely massive. Now again online they do have the dimensions for this and I read them, looked at them, thought it would be absolutely fine. Um, it's a little bigger than I was expecting, but I think I could make use of it in the poor hook cage, which is what I bought it for anyway. I originally wanted one of the corner heights they sell at Zoo Plus because I recently had to throw mine away because like a lot of natural items, they don't last forever. So I threw mine away <laughs> and I wanted to replace it, but it was out of stock and I don't order from Zoo Plus very often. So I thought I would try and buy something else instead. And this looked like a similar thing, just larger. 
much much larger and I'm still gonna give it a go and see how it works out if not I'll just you know I'll stop using it but this might work pretty well in the poor hut <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it's made for guinea pigs um, which are obviously much larger than hamsters but still I'll give it a go and this one was the most expensive thing I bought 11.99 so I've just got a couple of items left from Zooplus now and the next thing I'm going to show you is something I have had before but again I had to throw away and I wanted to replace and it's this <laughs> branch of wood so this is a large Trixie branch I think let me check the label yeah it's by Trixie so I love using these in natural cages and I did have one and unfortunately I did have to throw it away so I thought I'd replace it and with stuff like this it's pretty much like look on what you get I think there's a size it gives you like a variation of what size it could be yeah 40 centimeters to 60 centimeters I've not measured this <laughs> I'm pretty chuffed with it it's a nice branch these are pretty hard to find in pet stores anyway um, and when you do come across things like this like this and cork they're very expensive and Zooplus has them for a really good price and this one was 9.99 okay so the last thing I bought from Zooplus is something I've seen all over Instagram YouTube videos and it's something I've wanted for a really long time and that is a multi-chamber hide I never had one before so I decided to go ahead and buy one so this is the one you can get from Zooplus there's the entrance on the front the one on top and as you can see there's a ramp in there and then if I just flip it over you can see what the bottom's like so there's two little sections without a base and the middle section does have a base I haven't took the plastic off yet and I'm not going to do it right now because I'm sat on my bed and the stuff will get everywhere um but this looks really good I'm really excited to use it and see if the hamsters like it it's meant to kind of replicate the kind of burrows they create in the wild having different chambers for different things one to sleep in, one to eat in, things like that. So I'm excited to see if that's what they end up using it like. And it's just something I've really wanted for a while. So I'm glad I went ahead and bought that one. And that one was $8.99. So that's everything for this haul. Let me know what your favourite item was. And if you have any of this stuff yourself, let me know how you're finding it. If you or your hamsters like it or not. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time.